Hello everyone, I am Lord Trig and today we're gonna create granny car and the granny inside of this car and everything will be tiny miniatures, yes, in poem and clay. So guys, as you see, I have some colors left from my previous projects and I'm gonna unpack it and we're gonna make from those brown colors one rust color so i mix some of the yellow some of the light brown and some of the brown into one color i also add some brown metallic and everything go to my conditioning machine now i'm placing a little bit of the white and again to the conditioning machine after the color is done i decided that i will make it on the vise because I don't want it to move when I will be making all those little details. And onto this wood base, I put some liquid clay to glue the base of the car to this little piece of the wood so it won't move. But before I'm gonna place it, I need to set my conditioning machine to the level 2 and cut out the base for the car. After it's done, I'm just gonna gently place it onto the wood base, cut the edges so it will fit perfectly, and we're gonna start with making the car body. So I'm doing this like that, that I just cut two layers of permanent clay. The layers are the same, so I'm gonna place one onto another one and I'm gonna cut it out from this layer. Then I am cutting the middle because I don't need the middle because in the middle there will be one seat and on it there will be sitting granny but at the time when I was making it I didn't plan to make a tiny granny it just came to my mind in the middle of making it that I could make her but let's get back to the body as you now see, I'm just cutting the shape of granny car. Right now I'm making the mask with my hook tool. And when I'm making this, guys, I have an update for you. The project that I am talking on this channel for about a month or so, it's finished. Now it's the editing part. So you will see it on the channel on this Friday. So make sure to check out the channel on the Friday afternoon or in the morning and smack the bell icon so you will get notified exactly when I will post it. But guys, now let's just back to our granny car. As you see, I'm making what I'm making right now. I'm mixing two clays, the silver clay, silver effect clay from the Fimo and some black clay to make the bumper and other elements like tires and lights and so on. So uh, now I'm making the tires and the lamps. As you see, I'm just carving in this clay. Now we're gonna be placing the lamps. I thought that this will be the wheels because they look the same. But now guys, I'm gonna make lamps. So I mixed some of the white clay and some of the silver clay to make the color of the lamp and we're gonna work on some more details and in the meantime guys if you are new to the channel and you want to help the channel grow and support the channel there is a button join next to subscribe button feel free to join the channel to support the channel and by doing it you will get custom emojis, custom badges and other things that are listed there. Also for the members I'm just uploading work in progress pictures to the community tab on YouTube. So if you want to know what I'm making currently, what I'm up to, just go to community tab and of course join to see it. And now we're gonna back to the miniatures as you see guys we make the bumper 
Now I'm just making some more details on the bumper and we're gonna make the back of the granny car. So the steps are exactly the same like in the front. We gonna cut some shapes from the clay using the knife and I just smooth it a little bit with my hands. Then I'm gonna be carving the trunk and making the rear bumper. So this is exactly the same steps that I made the front bumper and guys now we are gonna make the lamps and while making the lamps I need to tell you that this is actually my very first miniature. I do some couple miniatures on the channel like for example Pennywise Granny or the Nightmare Bali but those miniatures are why larger than this project this one is actual miniature and i need to tell you that i like it very much so guys if you want to see more things like that let me know in the comments and of course let me know in the comments what i could do next what could look nice as a miniature so now guys we're gonna make the granny this part was very very hard because the granny is very tiny and I couldn't make as many details as I could. As you see right now I'm using the tiniest possible ball tool that I have and it's still too large. So now we're gonna make the hands so I'm just rolling piece of the clay and I'm gonna make the fingers using the knife. Now we're gonna place the arms of the granny and we're gonna connect it to the steering wheel and now guys we're gonna place some aluminium wires to the granny car. This is the tiniest aluminium wires that I had but I decided that I need to place it onto the granny's car because I think if I will not add it the top of the granny car would fall and everything would fall in the oven so I wanted to make sure that it will be stable and it will not broke so you see guys that I place four tiny aluminium to the car and this will be our armature right now guys we are gonna make the windows from white clay or it is not actually white but some gray white something like this and I place it on the doors and in a minute we gonna be cut it out the doors are also made from flat sheet of the clay after it's done I just need to uplift it with the blade tool and we gonna be placing it where its place is so I'm making it as a separate part that's because you will see at the end when I will be finishing I will be just bending the doors and this effect will be very cool but now let's just make some broken glass we will see the granny through this door and through this window so let's place it let's just a little bit connect it so it will not fall and I will a little bit bend it so the doors looks like they are damaged this is exactly as it is in the game and now guys we are gonna cover the aluminum wires by just using stripes of polymer clay very tiny this is made on number 9 on my conditioning machine now guys we just gonna connect it just a little bit and now guys we're gonna make the top the roof of the granny car so i cut a shape from the polymer clay and i'm gonna just a little bit around the edges and after it's done i'm gonna uplift it and place it on the roof and now as you see guys i made it a little bit too large so as you see i just mark where i need to cut it off i'm gonna cut it off and repeat the steps just a little bit smooth it smooth the corners and we're gonna place it one more time on the granny head so now we just gonna connect it a little bit everything is falling apart but somehow i managed to connect it now guys i'm mixing the black clay with the color of the car and the final effect is brown dark brown clay we're gonna make the handles of the car. 
sorry after it's done we're gonna make some details on the windows and i made this color just by mixing this brown clay for the handles with white clay for the windows and also we're gonna use it as the lamps on the rear and guys we gonna place some broken glass onto the bottom window that was not in the game but i decided that it will look more realistic and just better so i decided to add it and of course in the front also guys now when i'm thinking about this i should use transparent clay for this but i totally forgot that i have something like this but next time i try to remember about this and make the glasses from the transparent clay but for now we got the white windows and it's looking pretty nice now guys i decided that i'm gonna put it off from the vise and place it on my baking tray because now is the time to make the tires and it could be very hard to make the tires with this wooden base so i decided that i'm gonna disconnect the car from the wooden base and as you see one aluminium wire just bend it and i'm gonna repair it later but now guys let's just place it off very gently onto the baking tray and now the repairing time i try to put it off and just cover it with some of the clay now guys just smoothing the corner so it wouldn't look flat on the baking tray when it's done i'm just sketch the holes for the tires we're gonna carve it in a minute with the blade tool and here i had to be very gentle also not to damage the aluminium wires now guys we're gonna make the tires so tires are black we're gonna make them from the black clay so let's just roll a piece of the clay and we're gonna cut it out for four shapes the same shapes we're gonna just smooth it a little bit in the hands and make a tiny hole for the cup and also we're gonna make a tiny hole inside so it would look more nice and more realistic now we're gonna lift the car place the car onto the tires and now we gonna place the car onto a piece of the clay we're gonna remove it later but for now this will help us to just reposition the tires onto the granny car now i'm just smoothing the area where the tire is and the last few details scratches and we're gonna smooth the surface of the granny car to remove all the imperfections but i think imperfections are nice for this car but i'm just want to remove the sharp edges so it will look more smooth and now guys i decided that i will make the color a little bit bright i will enhance it just by dipping my brush with some water and some red clay we're gonna enhance the color of the rust so it was just an experiment as you see right now i'm using the orange clay the yellow clay just to make the rust elements after the baking this will not be so much visible but a little bit of this will stay so i think that was beneficial now guys i'm doing the same thing but with more black clay to just dirt this car because it's old granny have this car in the garage for like 50 years or something so it should be dirt and now some white and we're gonna bend the doors because this car is almost broken and now it's going to the oven for 25 minutes 230 celsius fahrenheit no celsius fahrenheit but fahrenheit now guys we're gonna color it a little bit because i just want to enhance it a little bit more do it a little bit more rusty so let's get started as you see i dip my brush in a little bit of the orange color and i remove the excess from the brush and with the half dry brush we're gonna just 
find some rust onto the car. Yes, now the bumper with the rust, the top and guys, it's ready, the granny car and the tiny granny inside. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and what I could make also as a miniature or maybe not miniature but normal figure. Let me know in the comments below the video. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this Paul McKay miniature tutorial and make sure to smack the bell in the face and watch more videos from this channel. Just click here or just click here. This is good videos for you.